Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing some comparisons on a couple different types of LEDs and HID. Okay, so we're going to be working on the pilot today because um, of course our, uh, our other cars have factory HID which are a lot easier. So I did get a different, a new charger as well. I got a Vicron 15 amp charger and it's like it does it's all like managed it's got bluetooth it's super cool but i'll show that later because this thing keeps dying so i also installed this little voltmeter you can see it's at 13 volts and it has usb but you can't really see all of it because it's too dark but i'll show you some other time if anyone cares so right now what the car has on it is hids and they're um I'll put the specs on the screen, but I bought them from like the HID warehouse sometime in I think 2014 and uh, they've been pretty good. But in the last year, this one keeps going out for whatever reason, the driver's side goes out and it's kind of like, you never know when it's happening. Like you just see the car car's reflection and then it's not working and you just cycle it on and off a couple times and it comes back on. But that's super irritating. I'm, I'm kind of tired of that. So I've been wanting to, switch this over to some leds but i was i've been hesitant because you know this is my my family car like the, the family car and i need to make sure it has good lighting so um was a little uncertain on the brightness of leds but that's why right here we're gonna we're gonna test it and see how how they look so let me get let these uh let these suckers uh warm up so we're gonna look here. It looks like um, decent dispersal pattern and, and brightness. Okay, so we got a good good look at these and the the temperature approximately and how they look and all that good stuff. These have been on the car for a while and they've uh, they they perform beautifully, no problems. Okay, so now that now that we kind of got a, a look at the brightness, this isn't scientific, but you know I'm eyeballing what it looks good to me. Um, you know, so it's going to be just kind of like whatever I think it is. So these are the, the brand of uh, HIDs and I'm going to be taking this out. So all right, so here's the ballast it's held up relatively well. This side actually works pretty flawlessly. So here we have a beautiful HID bulb that has lasted a few years. You can see the ceramic looks like it's wearing or I don't know looks a little weird but it worked okay you can see how these work so these things just connect together okay so you see I have it hooked up to my power supply here and we'll just click it on and see how it looks looks like it doesn't like something that I'm giving it looks like I'm afraid it's gonna explode Okay, well, this is a five amp. I have a five amp power supply and this thing obviously wants something out of the range of what my thing can give it. I couldn't get it to, to light. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, I couldn't supply enough current to it. Okay, so the issue that I've, I've had with LEDs in the past is they're not bright enough. Um, and I, I ran into this with my WRX when I first put LED headlights in it. They just weren't bright enough, and I found out those were 6,000, I think they were 6,000 lumen per side or something like that. No, they were, I think, 3,000 lumen each side or, or something like that, and they just wasn't bright enough. Like, the the, fact, the stock headlights were way brighter than the LEDs. And I eventually found some LEDs that were bright enough, but they were super expensive, so I was able to buy some in bulk to sell on my store, and that's what I did, and that's what I currently sell here on my store. Am I going to try these? But I'm actually out of these on, on my store. This was a customer return. You know, that's how it goes when you sell stuff to people. Customer returns, it's like flawless. No big deal though. These were some, some different uh, style from the supplier that I work with. Now, when you look at the rating on LED headlights, one of the important things that you're gonna look at is the lumens, of course. And it's always very, um, just make sure you're not you're not confusing the total output with the output per bulb. Like these here that I sold on my on my store, 
these at the time, these were the brightest ones I can find that weren't like, you know, like research, like several hundred dollars, like something fancy. Um, like the standard price, like these are like $60. Like this is something like these are the best quality, brightest ones that you can, you can get. And you can see these are 6,000 lumen each side. So there's not 6,000 lumen um, total, which means 3,000 each side. It's, it's 6,000 per side, so 12,000 total. I don't know why anyone ever goes with a total. I've never heard of anything like that. You buy bulbs as a bulb, like if it's the 6,000 lumen bulb, like I don't know, I've just never looked at it as the, the, the total of it, but I think, I think that's just marketing to try to confuse people and make it look like a lot. This is another style that they're selling now. They haven't hit mass production on these, so they're like super expensive. Like I paid, like my price on these was like $78 and I bought just like two of them to play around with. But I wanna see how much brighter they are um, and see if they're worth um, you know, the extra cost. They're 9,000 lumen each side for a total of 18,000 lumen. So I wanna kind of test it with my little meter and see you know, if I can even detect that little uh, 3,000 difference in lumen each side or if it's like you know, BS or like if it's just not noticeable. So we'll, we'll see. Um, one thing that you will notice is that if you look at the input power rating, these are rated at 45 watts each side, and these are rated at 36 watts e each side. I believe the standard halogen bulbs are 55 watts, so we're getting close to you know the standard halogen bulb rating, meaning that we're not saving any power with these LEDs, which theoretically means that we should get more brightness, but um, we'll see. All right, we got our all hooked up to the power supply. And we're gonna see what um, what it looks like and how much power it makes out. So this is the 6,000 lumen bulb. So I set it at 14.2 volts, which is you know basically what a car uses when it's running. And we're looking at about two amps. And obviously, it's bright. It's it's gonna be hard to like get a a, a basis of comparison. Let me try to show you like some look off on so like you can see it's like lighting up the entire garage very bright so we got two amps okay so i'm going to drop these that i was just playing with in this side of the car and then we're going to see how it looks compared to the hid all right got her all hooked up we got the charger continuing to pump power in here to make sure we stay at like the same brightness close the garage all right so the first thing you notice i mean at least initially is um pretty big difference in color temperature now i can't recall the the rated color temperature on both of these um offhand so uh i'll put it up on the screen but brightness wise i, I gotta say it looks about the same go to this side Um, I, looking at the screen, it looks like this has an edge. You don't really see it in the, um, with the naked eye, but there's like a bigger blob right here than there is there. At least on this side. Let me see if I can... Uh, it's not quite as obvious here, but... Uh, we'll, we'll call it a tie, maybe, you know, right about the same. I think the HID I would call having a, a slight edge. Okay, so now we're going to take, take a look at the other bulb, the brighter LED, and then we'll hook that one up here. So I figured it was worth taking a, a, a look at both of these units and seeing if we can see what makes the brighter, because this is, this is rated 3,000 lumen higher. Um, well, definitely I can see there's a lot more like metal and beef around that, around that one than that one. The LEDs are significantly larger. That's another thing. Yeah, they're a pretty good amount larger. And the heatsink is way, way, way more massive. And so is the fan. I mean, that's like night and day. Like, there's not much metal here, and here there's a huge, thick heatsink. This thing is actually decently heavy. It's got some heft to it. So it doesn't surprise me that, that it's going to um, output a bit more. So um, let's check it out. Got it all set up. And this is just the back of a, a smoke detector that I just used to make sure it's not touching anything so it doesn't burn. So we're going to flip it on. Oh my goodness, okay. That is super, super bright. 
see we can see we're using an, a whole extra amp so we're using 3.05 and it is it's it's a lot brighter like I have to hide behind the camera because it's it's blinding me brighter so you can look at it on the wall the difference See, it like turns everything into like daylight. So extremely bright. Like very, very, very bright. Look at that. It looks like it settled off at exactly three amps. So it's using a third more power and it's a lot brighter. So I'm actually impressed so far. Okay, I'm gonna take one for the team a little bit and um, put this one where I just installed the other one, so it's going to require me doing more swapping, but it'll allow us to see more comparisons. So I'm going to put this one in here right now. All right, got it all installed. There's the old one we just took out. So let's see how it looks. All right, we still got the charger holding us at about 13, 13 volts. Okay, this is interesting. Let me wait till these warm up. So... <laughs> Obviously, it's significantly brighter. I'm trying to figure out if the pattern is good. I think the pattern is fine. It's just a lot brighter because the pattern's essentially the same. There's just more of it. So that dispersal actually looks pretty good and it is way, way bright. That is, um, I mean, there's no, there's no question as to what's brighter. I'm actually impressed. It looks pretty good. Okay, I just want to note the change I'm making to the test since I don't want anyone to think I'm um, doing shenanigans or something. Um, this side is way, way, way more difficult to work in. So I don't want to do this side twice. So I'm going to take this old bulb um, and put it back over here and take the one from that side over here. So we're going to have the newer, brighter LED on this side and the older LED on this side. All right, we got um, the old style... 6,000 lumen one on this side and the 9,000 lumen on this side in its permanent spot. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Now this is interesting. To the naked eye, it doesn't look like a huge difference. I mean, this side definitely looks... It doesn't look as big of a difference as it does on the camera, which is kind of odd. Like, I mean, I can tell this is brighter, but it just seems like just a little bit brighter brighter but in on the camera you can see that it's just a big blah right there and there there's a big blah but it's just a smaller blah so again the same you can see there it's just it's just brighter it's a lot brighter and although the color temperature rating is the same um, as you can tell it looks that one looks a little bit bluer than this one only a tiny bit though of course I'm gonna go with the newer style just because but these actually look as bright as the HIDs did, you know, or, or at least really, really similar. Not, not any, any significant amount dimmer, if any. But these, um, these 9000s are definitely a step up. This is actually uh, a pretty impressive light. So as you can see, there's even like, you know, film and stuff on the headlight. And there's actually less of the film stuff on this side. So how's that for skewing the data? It's level, it's not going to be blinding people, it's good. I'm going to pop the other one on and see what they look like. Alright, all done. Got new bulbs on both sides. So no more HID for me, which hopefully I gain some reliability. Now there's never been, I've never had any, any real reason to question the reliability of the LEDs, but they just scare me, especially since they have a fan. Um, but I ran them in my WRX for quite a while and they worked fine. So, I don't know. I mean, I think they're fine, and I'm obviously I'm putting them on my car, but it's it is a little bit scary just because it's not like your standard stuff. But you know, people have been running HIDs forever, and those have their own problems. As you know, mine was flicking on and off constantly. So, all right, let's see what we got. All right, we got the brighties on both sides, and I, I'm glad the uh, the color temperatures match because I thought maybe it was like a design difference where this one just happened to be bluer than the rest but no it's just that they match that's good i will say that they are are very bright 
they're not as blue as my HIDs were, which I'm assuming were like, you know, 7,000 or 8,000 or something like that. Um, cause these definitely don't have the, quite the blue temperature those did, but they're still pretty bright. The other thing you got to get used to with these, you can hear that, that's a little fan in there running. It's a little creepy sometimes if like you just happen to walk by it, you're like, what the hell is that? So there is a fan that's running. All right, so as for the battery situation with this car, obviously you can see it has a excess power battery and that's an AGM battery and I bought that like, I think I wanna say in like 2013 probably. Um, so it's, it's worked a while, maybe 13, 14. I'm pretty sure it was 13. So it's been a fine battery, but you know, it's, it's not reliable now. I had to just, um, I went to vote today and I had to jump the car which was kind of irritating. Yeah, that's definitely something that, that I need to, to work. So I did get a lithium battery that we're gonna be testing in this. I, I have the battery already. I've been testing it a little bit. And that's why I got this charger. So you're gonna be, that's gonna be coming. I know a lot of people don't care, but you know, it's coming anyway. So this charger is actually a, a pretty nice charger. I, I love the, the Bluetooth. So for those of you that love um, the techie stuff, this is pretty cool. So you can see you can connect to it through Bluetooth and it'll show you what, what the voltage is and all that fun stuff and it'll show you how much current it's putting in. Like right now it's in the storage, shows it's at 13 volts. So this is like the, the type where you would just hook it and I have it set to high for um, um, AGM. It also has lithium mode and a recondition which is supposed to fix a bad battery I guess or help try to fix a bad battery or something like that. So it's pretty cool. And it, of course, does up to 15 amps. Um, I try, <laughs> I did try it on, these are both of my Mopar batteries. I tried it on these and these wouldn't hold enough charge. Like I was trying to put like a slight load on it by, by charging. <laughs> okay, that's irritating. By charging the, um, that little USB light and see if, See if I can get the battery just to kind of like recover and then like hold the charge and like maybe work. But no, they, I mean, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even do that for a second. So those batteries are completely dead. Whatever I did to them, I, I got them, I got them good. So now that this guy's charged up, hopefully I'll have a few more, a little bit more reliability out of this battery until I get the lithium in there. But I just, I'm just doing a little bit of testing on the lithium first and I'll put it all in one video and we'll, we'll kind of go over it and you guys will see what you what you think because that's I think that's pretty cool um, and we'll go over what makes lithium so much better than um, regular batteries but I think it's pretty obvious like I mean I just replaced two batteries and this one's dead they, these batteries suck but lithium also costs a fortune so there you go such is life alrighty so we'll see how this thing's holding up a charge so it's at 12.8 and I bet you it'll start just fine but I know we can't do a pilot video without a pilot cold start. Everybody would hate me. So here you go. Roar. So I'm actually gonna just rock with this battery for a while. I mean, before I put the lithium on it, I'm, I just charged it up and I wanna kinda see if it's the alternator in this car. When you unhook the battery from the um, from the car, like when the car's running, it stays running, which you've always heard like, yeah, that means the alternator's good, but I don't know. Or it could mean like, like the way it switches charging, like it'll charge and then sometimes it won't charge and the battery will get down to like 12.5 volts, like as we're just driving along and then you can, you know, all, obviously the alternator kicks back in and it starts charging again. So really strange, because this is being measured at the battery and it's, on all the time, so this should be as accurate as we, we got. But it's about the same as the HIDs were, like in terms of pattern, it's just more, more light. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, we got some really, really big, uh, big news and uh, big things coming to the Scat pack, built motor, big power. What is this guy doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Um, built motor, big power. So I, I will go over the different, the uh, you know, the details. But um, it's going to be coming soon. 
Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that because that, there's a lot, uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy to that topic um, of, of uh, building the 392 and all that, which is running just great, by the way. Um, no, no problems with it. Yeah, so we'll go over that soon. Um, I'm not like, uh, it's not like a big reveal, but I just want to make sure things are kind of like in concrete before I like, you know, tell everybody what I'm doing. So that's, that's what it is. It's not like a, a, a big reveal. I'm just, um, yeah, I want to make sure it's certain. As for these lights, which you can see there, I'm pretty sure in my store I'm completely sold out and I, I haven't bought the new one. So if you, if you are interested in some lights like, like this, um, I'll put a link to mine um, from my store and then you, you just find some similar ones like a lot of this stuff it's just it's just sold by like big um, big companies um, overseas mostly in China um, some in India Taiwan like there's a lot of a lot of places where the lighting comes from but a lot of this stuff is the same so like when you see the stuff that looks the same like a lot of it is the same I mean like sometimes people change the packaging and stuff but you know if you can if you can find a product that looks like like it's probably like another product it probably is especially if the specs are are identical so if one rates the specs higher than another where it looks absolutely identical then you got to be cautious as you can see i mean that this is uh it's not as bright as it looks so don't worry people i'm not blinding people let me let me adjust my eyes so maybe i got it turned up too high okay this is where i normally have it i was playing with it to do the lighting i'm not going to go drive around again again but you can see Things aren't as bright as they looked. So I think if you're gonna, if you're thinking about getting LED lights instead of, um, cause these are just H11 LEDs, instead of like an HID setup, which is which is fine. I think um, LEDs seem a lot simpler than HIDs and obviously they use less power. I don't really see the big advantage of HID like there used to be. Um, I know in certain applications they can be brighter, but um, I mean, I've just proved right here. I replaced my HIDs with these LEDs and they're just as bright I mean, they're actually brighter. I mean, they're, they're brighter than the, than the HIDs were. My, probably not the brightest HIDs in existence or anything, but, you know, some, they do um, intersect at some point, is, I guess, is the point. But if you are looking for some and you want to, and you're concerned about not being bright enough, check out these um, 9,000 lumens if you can find them somewhere because these are, are super bright. I imagine around now they're probably going to still be in the, you know, $100 plus range, but hopefully in, in a few months... You can get something like this for not too much because these are i mean these are absolutely amazing these are beautiful so rambled on long enough thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe peace